Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now we are going, you have the list with you about the materials and the instruments which we used <coughs> during the semester. So I will just show them to you quickly, many of them, and will give you some examples about some of the questions that you might be uh, asked about. For each item in the uh, list, you have to go and read about it. Uh, don't expect always the question to come only identified or just to give the name. You have to know all the things like the functions, the uses, the indications, advantages, disadvantages, and all of these things. The first thing we did this semester, we started with tooth preparation. So you have to know the principles of tooth preparation, important. You have to know the different pairs and the use of each one of them. For example, this is what? A torpedo diamond. Maybe it's not very clear. This is a large round end tapered diamond. With tesmi is very important, yani the exact uh, accurate naming of the pairs. We have the American football. We have a needle diamond bear, we have a diamond wheel, and we have this one was the carbide bear, which we used uh, sometimes for finishing, okay, and to create also the retention grooves. And then each one of these bears, you have to know the name, you have to know the description, you have to know the uses of the bear. For example, the torpedo diamond bear is used to create the chamfer finish line. The large round end bear is created is used to create a heavy chamfer finish line, or sometimes for preparation for uh, metal ceramic uh, crowns. And then all of these things you have to know. You have to know the uses and everything related. Now also you have to know actually about the tooth preparation. We can uh, get you a prepared tooth and we can ask you what's the mistake in this preparation. Taban, all of you, you are familiar with the putty index. Okay, why do we use the putty index? We can use it in order to verify the amount of reduction and we can use it also as a stent to create or to fabricate the temporary crown or the provisional crown. إذن هذا الشيء اللي related for or to tooth preparation. After that, you remember we started with <coughs> temporization, and we uh, made temporary crown by two techniques. We made the prefabricated temporary crown. This type of crown we called it the polycarbonate crown. It's already made. You have to know the advantages and disadvantages of this type. You have to know the way how to use, how to select the proper size. Then you have to go back and read about the polycarbonate crown with technique احنا اللي عملناها inside the lab. الأسئلة ما راح يكون فيها كثير details theory but the things which are related to the uh, laboratory um, steps or procedure which you have made. كلكم you remember this material also we used to fabricate custom made temporary crowns or we used it also for relining of temporary crowns we named it as what? the polymethyl methacrylate or acrylic resin okay? acrylic resin if someone is recording or recording, please don't okay? I think this is um, what's related to the temporary crown you remember these uh, trimmers we use them also for dye trimming, صح? واستعملناهم برضو for actually removing the excess and trimming of the temporary crowns. Okay, finishing of temporary crowns. We use these acrylic carbide trimmers. طبعا الهاند pieces, the high speed, low speed. Uh, no need to talk about them. كلكم familiar. After we finished the temporary crown, we showed you the retraction cords. If you remember. And we said that retraction cords, we have many sizes. This is an example of size number one. We have also size double zero, and we have zero, and we have two. Well, I know double zero is the smallest, and then zero is larger, one is larger, and so on. But when you have to be able to identify retraction cord, and you have to know the function of the retraction cord, the size of the retraction cord, the, the instrument which we use in order to pack a retraction cord, which is called the retraction cord packer. It's not here, I think. It's not available. 
friends. Maybe she took it. Now, if you find it, we'll show it to you. إذا retraction cord packer موجود عندكم صورتها برضو بالمحاضرة. Then we made the impression. What's the difference between this tray and this tray? This is stock tray, and this is a special tray. This is the instrument اللي هي تكلمت عنها قبل شوي اللي هي retraction cord packer. تشبه plastic instrument, but there is a curve in both of the ends. Okay. This is called the retraction cord packer and used for what? For packing of the retraction cord. Bardo my retraction cord, we have the uh, example of hemostatic agent. This is the hemox. You have to know the chemical composition of uh, the hemostatic agents. No can sell kumanha. Mushartan ajiblik shi mayin u gulik eshtar keep tula, but in general, what are the different types of hemostatic agents and why do we use hemostatic agents in order to control the bleeding and fluids uh, during the uh, procedure or during the packing of the retraction cord and then again stock trays special tray all of you who fabricated the special tray you have to know the function of the spacer the stoppers and then if I show you an impression like this you have to know which material is used to make this impression. طبعاً this material is what it is an addition silicon polyvinyl siloxane. And what's the difference between the yellow and the other color? Always at the area of preparation, it is a light body, and the rest of the tray, it's either regular body or heavy body. طبعاً you have to look for these things. اللي هي cartridge we have. Heavy body, light body, and regular body, and all of you, you are familiar with the putty, صح? كل كوب تعرفوا ال putty for addition silicon. It comes as base and catalyst. ممكن نجيب لكم إياها بالجار أو ممكن نجيب لكم إياها outside. طبعاً هي regardless لل color يا جماعة. It's not always brown and white. ما لها علاقة. بس هي الفكرة إنه it's a putty and equal amount we mix them. This is the addition silicon impression material. This is the tray adhesive. We use the tray adhesive in order to paint the uh, tray in order to make sure that the impression material will actually uh, adhere to the tray and uh, no separation will occur. And then this is about the tooth preparation, the temporization, and the impression making. But you have to know which technique is this for impression making. Is it the two-stage technique or one-step technique? In this case, it is one step because the two materials, they are actually blending with each other. And we have light body only on the prepared area. We don't have light body all over. This means, you know, this is the uh, double mix, one-step double mix technique. Now we move on to the working cast and dies and the wax the crown which type of working cast is this one this is a working cast with a removable die or a separate die this is a working cast with a removable die okay احنا ما عملنا separate die عملنا with a removable die اذا this is a removable die الماتيريال هذه which is in blue on the preparation on the dye, sorry, what do we call it? So I can't blue or silver, بغض النظر. It's actually the dye spacer. You have to know why we use the dye spacer, and you have to know the thickness of the dye spacer. Okay, what's the proposed thickness and what's the function of the dye spacer? كل هذه الأشياء you have to go back and read about them. Now, for example, I can ask you what's the purpose of dye trimming? How do we actually do the dye trimming? كل الأشياء اللي أنتم عملتوها بتتذكروا الماشين which we used to create the holes اللي هي this machine we called it what this one the appendix machine وإيش الفنكشن of the appendix machine is to create the holes in the back of the cast in order to place the double pins طيب 
Dye space other than we talked about it. So I'm to you like this. Oh, no, can paint it on the dye. It's the same thing. طبعا, what's this? This is a wax up or wax crown, mandibular uh, first uh, molar. Okay. And it's going then to be transformed into a full metal crown. Then this is a full metal crown. I can ask you about it. I can ask you about advantage, disadvantage, anything. طبعا, you all remember the sprue and the sprue former. I can bring you this piece of wax so I ask you what is, is it used for or it can come on the crown and will ask you what's the function of this what is this made of and you have the decorous proof former which we use actually to create a channel in order to express the wax and to introduce the metal in the process of casting this is uh, the dowel pins we have different shapes dowel pin and always it come with a sleeve so a metal or plastic and then this one will go into the base and this one will uh, actually be fixed glued to the working cast we have other uh, shapes you have this one for example okay also pin and a sleeve, plastic sleeve. This is investment material. It comes in bags like this. I might ask you about the investment material, the requirements, types, all the things you have to actually know them. <coughs> Which type of wax is this one? This is in lay wax, type 1 or type 2. We use this for indirect uh, build up of wax. So it's type two and you have to know this you have to know the basic uh, requirement of the wax or uh, properties of this wax in the lecture this is the casting ring you remember it and this is called the crucible former you have to know the function of each one of them this is the ring liner well now we use it in order to allow the expansion of the mold okay then you have to be uh, accurate in your answers why do we need expansion in the mold? Because we need to compensate for the solidification uh, shrinkage of the metal. Okay, and then this is the ring liner and this is the ring and the crucible former. As you can see here, we have the casting ring and inside the casting ring we have what's this? This is investment. Okay, then this is investment. Ulimbain and the Hinataraf only who are taraf el wax or el sprue former. I think um, this is almost about it. Fear Nabaki was after she el Yua el waxing kit. You have to be familiar with the instruments we used. We used the wax, uh, the spatula. This one for addition of wax and carving also. We used instrument uh, which is the PKT number one and number two. Why do we use this? This is wax dropper or we use it for addition of wax. Then you have to differentiate between instrument which are used for addition and the instrument which are used for carving like this one. This one is used for carving. Okay, so you have to differentiate between ones used for addition and the ones used for the carving. Bardo, this machine, you have to know it. We used it for what? For dipping the dye in order to create the coping of the wax. Bardo, it means you care of the coping. Here we have a complete contoured waxed crown. بس قبل ما نعمله تذكروا أول خطوة عملناها كانت الكوبينج. So you have to identify also the coping. You have to know the requirements of the crown. كيف المارجن لازم يكون and all of these things. Okay. إذا any of these things that I mentioned أو الأشياء اللي موجودة عندكم باللست. You have a list I sent it to you in your email. I hope you received it. موجود فيها الماتيريالز والإنسترومنتس which we have used. So you have to go back, uh, open your book, your handouts. Cool item, the items, the items.